Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we created a new Rails application for our course project and set up Bootstrap 5 and custom root page. In this lecture, we will create the workshop model and add some basic validation to it. And we will also create some dummy workshops using seed file. Okay, so let's create the workshop model first. But before generating the model, let's discuss the attribute required for this workshop model. Okay. So let's think in a real world scenario that in real world, if you think about a workshop or seminar, then what you will think uh, about the data attributes it might have. Okay. So you will find that there are some specific data attributes like uh, workshop name, details or description or start date, end date to mention the duration of the workshop in number of days and start and end time for each day during workshop. For example, if a workshop persists for seven days, then it started every day at 10 a.m. and lasted till 4 p.m. Okay, so for example, okay, and how many total seats a workshop can have and how many seats have been booked, how many remaining and the total registration fees for that particular workshop for a single person. Okay, there can be other data as well, but this is some general data that must exist for such events. Okay, so now let's generate the workshop model okay so to generate the model open the terminal and go to the new tab okay and in this new tab you need to run the command like uh, rails g model workshop sorry and now here let me increase the phone size Okay. And now in this workshop model, you need to provide the attributes. Okay, so you can provide attributes like let's say name, description, which will tell the details of the workshop. So it should be text because it might be a set of some paragraphs. So it would be description text, then start date. Okay, and it should be date type, and then end date. Should we also type date? Okay, and then start time that we can keep as a string, then end time that should be string as well, and then total sheets. Okay, and this total sheets must be integer. Okay, and then remaining sheets, which must be integer as well, and then registration fee. And this must be integer as well. Okay. And now run this model, uh, run this command to generate the model. And you can see the command has generated a migration and a model. Okay. So to create the model, we need to run the, uh, to create the table for this workshop model. We need to run this rails db migrate. Okay, the migration has been done. It means we have a workshop table inside our schema. So open the schema file now. Okay, and into the schema, you can find your workshop table has been created. Okay, so you can see here workshops and it has attributes like name, description, start date, end date, start time, end time, total seats, remaining seats, registration fees and all that. Okay, now we created a model, we generated table inside the schema now what we need to do that we need to add some basic validation or active basic active record validation for this workshop model okay so open the app models and workshop.rb and here we will provide some validations like let's say a name must be present it cannot be blank okay so what we need to do here we need to make validates name and description description it must be present true okay and now some other attribute that must be present what should be that like uh, start date end date start time end time so validates start date end date start time and then End time, total seats, and then registration fees must be 
presents two. Okay. Now, but remove the total seats and registration fee from here. Okay, because it must be present. But we at the same time we want to handle the numericality of these attributes as well. So that's why I will remove these. Uh, uh, total seats and registration from seats from this validation so remove it okay and do this here instead okay so now let's remove start time and end time okay and what we need to make here that we need to ensure the numericality of these attributes as well so add numericality check here as well numericality true okay now since we added the basic validation so far okay and these validations available in all rails versions but rails 7 enhanced active record validations by providing an extra validation that is the comparison validator okay which was not available since rail 6.x okay and there just to compare the or validate the comparison between two attributes we need to implement the custom methods okay but thanks to rail 7 we do not need to do this now okay so what we can do here that we can add a custom will uh, sorry comparison validator here like uh, validates end date okay and this end date must be comparison with Better than start date. Okay, and we can provide some custom message as well because it will come with its default message that uh, the end date cannot be greater than than the value of start date. Okay, or start date cannot be greater than value of end date. So we can remove that and we can add our custom message like message. Cannot be before started. Okay, save it now. So uh, one thing I want to make it clear, I make clear here that uh, these are just basic validation. As we move forward uh, in this course, we will add more complex validations as well, more custom validations, and some callbacks and some instance methods as well. Okay, so this is not the final implementation of the workshop. You need to keep watching the upcoming lectures to make it uh, uh, the, a complete workshop model. Okay, so for now save it. And now since we added the workshop uh, validation inside the workshop model, so it's time to test these validations in the Rails console. So go to, switch to the terminal and open the Rails console. And here we will test uh, the validation has been applied or not okay so let's create workshop sorry workshop equal to dot new okay. okay there are some syntax errors okay we made a mistake here sorry i made a mistake here <laughs> save it and now restart the console again rail c okay and uh, now it's time to test it so we can check workshop equal to workshop dot new so you can see that a new instance for workshop has been instantiated now we need to check that whether it is valid or not so we can do workshop dot valid okay it is false okay it means our workshop is not valid so we can uh, check the error for workshop dot errors or you can simply make workshop errors dot full messages here you can see name can't be blank description can't be blank start date can't be blank end time can't be blank total seats and registration seats okay numericity check is also working and the comparison date is also working okay so our validations are working it means we are good to go for creating workshops into the seed file okay so we tested the 
validation now it's fine and it's time to create the workshop entries inside the seed file so open your seeds file you can find that seed file inside the db directory okay and in this first write a command because when we run the seed file we need to uh, make sure that uh, make sure some progress is going on like uh, workshops are creating and at the end workshop has been created okay so you can write workshops are being created okay and then write a command workshops created okay you can save this and now between these two statements you need to create workshops okay so let's create workshops equal to workshop dot create okay and in this you can provide some different hashes and now you can write some data into it so you can write any name to your workshop so let's say full stack ruby on rails development bootcamp okay and uh, here you can provide description as well your uh, workshop now it could be like anything some dummy for workshop okay, save it and just to copy this line and paste it multiple times okay we can see some value for this description attribute okay now we need to provide a start date and end date so start date since we already added validation that a start date must be before the end date so we can write a start date like date dot today plus two dot days and then end date should be date dot today Plus, let's say seven days workshop, so it should be nine dot days. Okay, and now the start time. It this will represent the every day when the workshop starts. Okay, so it should be like let's say n am and end time. It should be like let's say three pm. Okay, and then. total seats yeah, let's say 100 and then remaining seats initially it should be zero because we haven't booked any seats and once we start booking seats into the workshop we will manage handle this remaining seats using some callbacks okay but for now let's add zero here and at the, at the last Registration fees. And now you can type any fees that you want to collect from a student. I want to collect dollar fifteen hundred USD. Not USD, sorry, INR. I'm become greedy here. And now you can paste it here and just need to uh, change the URL uh, workshop name here. Full stake. Uh, you can write Python Django. Okay, and just to make it like uh, 12 and 19 and you can paste it one more time and create remove this full stack node js development bootcamp and make it 22 and 29 okay so all three all these three workshops are of seven days okay now save it and at the end you can check that we have a message to create workshops okay so this is the workshop that we have code to write create workshop in our seed file now it's time to run the seed file to create these records okay so but before that let's check that whether we have typo for <laughs> correct for each attribute name description start date end date start date start time end time total seats remaining seats and registration fee okay so this is correct and now run the seed file rails db 
seed okay and when you run the seed file you will get uh, these workshops being created in your system so you can see that workshops are being created that means this statement has been executed and this statement has been executed workshop created and between both of the statements all three workshop saved into the database now open the rails console okay and in rails console you need to confirm or check this okay so you can check workshop sorry workshop dot count because you can see there are three workshop and you can also check workshop dot find one so this is the detail of first workshop you can also do so workshop dot find two you can find two workshops and all that okay so what we achieved in this lecture that we created our workshop model we created uh, we added some validation into the data uh, at workshop model as well and we created some dummy workshop using seed file okay and that was our purpose for this lecture in the next lecture we will design list and index pages for this workshops okay so that uh, uh, public users can see these workshops into the onto the browser and they can go to the detail pages of that and then in next lectures we will start implementing booking forms and then we will allow users to book the workshops in coming lectures okay but for now that's all about this okay and try this at your end generate a workshop model and try to uh, add validation there and do some more practice about the comparison validator added by the rail 7 okay and if you wish you can do you can write some more uh, attribute um, you can create some more workshop using seed file or you can create using forms as well if you want to create form you can do that okay so that's all about this lecture and thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe